Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Echo Simpson. Today is 1st September. Yes, 1st September. Uh, we give thanks and praise to the Almighty God for giving us, you know, more life and strength and all that. I am here. This is a quick update on the Asebu Pan African 5000 Freeland. Yes. So I am here today with a friend of mine. His name is Kofi, and this is his car. So we drove all the way from Cape Coast because one of the clients who is called Frank, Frank is like a daddy to me. Uh, he is also one of the first people that I met uh, when I started this. He came to Ghana, we came to the Asebu land, he purchased Hess, and now we are here to mount the pillars. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. Ouch! So you can see that, yes sir. This is what we call the pillars. Yeah, this is what we call the pillars. And before we mount the pillars, the land I told you was a virgin land. They, the, the, the Asebi people tried to put some markings on it. But when you get your land, you're supposed to come and put your pillars on it. Now, this is the issue. Sometimes, when you come here to, to find your land, the, the, the land engineer, he's inside there looking for the land. I'll take the video there. The land engineer would have to call some guys, enter the bushes to look for your plot so that we can mount this. But sometimes you get to a point where you tell people you need to pay the land engineer for that work. If not, you can come and find the plot yourself. And then we also have to go and buy this and travel with it all the way from Cape Coast or wherever we have to buy it to this place. And then we put it out there and people try to make some comments that, hey, why am I supposed to pay somebody to go and show me the land? Sometimes the way things are done here is way different from over there. You see, I watched the video and one African-American guy said, most of you come leave, Af leave America to Ghana to live like Americans. You can never do that. You can't live like an American in Ghana. So I think that coming to you as a brother, you know, speaking to you as a family, sometimes when we share certain things with you, you have to understand that this is how things are made. Anyway, um, this is just to update you. Let's go and then find out where the uh, markings are. I'm sure. So what we what we're looking for is uh, plot number four on the Marcos Gabi Road, and we've seen. Um, come. Anyway, this is Matthew. He's a land engineer. He makes sure that anytime you come on the land and you need to find your plot, he's the one who is going to do that. All right. So we found uh, four, six, seven, eight, meaning we have to use this plot to locate the other four pillars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you can see clearly, the land is kind of bushy because it's a virgin land. yeah, it's a virgin land, and it's bushy because uh, the beginning when they mounted all the poles for the project, it took a while before people started purchasing it. Therefore, the land has grown. I mean, the wheat has grown again, so it's difficult for you to find certain plots. So these guys are in the bush. Where are they? I don't even know where they are now. They are in the they are in the bush trying to locate. We found one. We're just trying to find the other one. So that's the search team. Uh, yes, they are trying to locate the plots.
the others are also there trying to locate it and they can't do this for free you need to sort them out so if you come and then you 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 trying to locate your plot that's what the, the land engineer comes in to support and say i can bring the team to come and do that's another brother also trying to locate it it's not mm -hmm. Okay, so he asked for one of his guys to go and bring the tape measure so that this can help us do the measurement. So that is what he's about to do now. It's not easy locating uh, plots in the bushy area. So this is an advice to everybody who is watching. If you bought a land already, if you have uh, part of the Asebu land, kindly um, find someone to come do the demarcation and put your, your pillars on it. Else you will come and find yourself wanting. This is just an advice to brothers and sisters who have learned on 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 the on the Asebu Pan African village. Boom pillars now, okay. Okay, so after the measure, measuring and all that, we're able to locate the plot. So he's this guy is mounting one of the pillars. Uh, one guy is also mounting one inside there, and then one is also going to be here. So we have four plots, like the four markers. One, two. Yeah. A cool one. A cool one. It's on Oh. So this is my final episode on this particular video. So we came here to locate the plot for Frank and after a long while we've been able to locate it and they've mounted the pillow. So this is an advice to all of you watching. If you have a plot anywhere in Ghana, uh, make sure you let someone go put some pillars on it. Else you will come and if the place is bushy, you will find yourself wanting. So this is another pillar that belongs to Frank. Yeah. Hey, so thank you for checking me out. This is the final pillar. Uh, we are good to go. We've mounted it. And uh, thank you very much for checking me out. Put up a comment. Let me know what you think about this whole um, vlog on mounting pillars on the Asebu Pan African village using the, the land um, engineer piece. Charlie, 
Mwana aba tuna wono next time bana mumbua mu. Yana. Mm. Abie. Abie yo mu. Abie